Hello everyone, my name is Matthew Zamella, and I play the violin. I started playing the violin when I was three and a half years old. And I was watching TV, and I was watching a talk show, and as one of their guests, they had a group of young violinists who were all playing the same piece at the same time, and I thought that was so amazing. I was so excited by it. So I went and talked to my mom and dad, and they agreed to enroll me in lessons. So I haven't stopped playing since. Let me tell you a little bit about the violin and how it works. There are two main parts of playing the violin. The first one is the violin. And as you can see, we have four strings. We have an E, an A, a D, and a G. And when the strings vibrate, they send all their vibrations down into this little wooden piece here. That's called a bridge. And from there it goes into the violin, which is basically a hollow box. And all of the vibrations bounce around and they come back out through these holes. And from there they go to your ears. And that's how you hear the sound that's coming from the violin. The other main part of the violin is called the bow. And there's two parts of the bow as well. Uh, there's this part, which is often made out of wood, and sometimes it's made out of carbon fiber. Mine is made out of carbon fiber. But this other part, right here, is actually made from horse hair. It's the hair from the tail of a horse. Now, it doesn't hurt the horse when they cut the hair. It's just like getting a hair cut. That doesn't hurt, right? But the reason we use it is if you looked at the hair under a microscope... You can't see it right now if you're just looking at it like this. But if you looked at it under a microscope, you could see tiny little hooks that are all along the horse hair. And those little hooks help to pull the string and make it vibrate. So that's how the violin works. I love playing the violin. And I love making all sorts of different sounds and playing all sorts of different music. Some of the music is slow and beautiful, like this one. This was written by a composer named Johann Sebastian Bach. And it goes like this. playing music that is a little bit faster and sounds really happy and joyful and full of energy like this piece composed by a man named Antonio Vivaldi and it goes like this Isn't that fun? Now, sometimes I like to play music that I'm making up in my head. That's called improvisation. It's like using your imagination. And I love all the different sounds that I can get out of the violin. Maybe even some sounds that you wouldn't think would come from a violin. Like sometimes I like to pretend that I'm playing an electric guitar. And that would sound something like this. Uh, 
So as you can see, you can have a lot of fun with the violin, lots of different sounds you can make, lots of different types of music you can play. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you have a wonderful day. And hopefully sometime when Berkeley Symphony can come back to visit schools, I'll see you there. So have a great day. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.